Welcome to this video which will show you how to easily upgrade from the standard Excel solver to one of our more powerful optimization products such as Analytics Solver Platform, Risk Solver Platform, Premium Solver Platform, or Premium Solver Pro. Since you are already using the standard Excel solver, you already know the great benefits of using optimization to make better decisions. However, it's easy to create a model that exceeds the size and algorithmic limitations of our free solver. Fortunately, we've designed our premium solver products to not only solve much larger and more complex models, but to also solve models created with the standard Excel solver as is, without any changes whatsoever to the model, the spreadsheet, or to any VBA code that might exist. To do so, simply open any existing solver model in Excel. I'm using the same model from the video Building Your First Optimization Model in Excel with Solver. In this model, we are attempting to decide how much of each of these three products to produce, LCD TVs, stereos, and speakers, to maximize total profit subject to our inventory constraints. Each product sells at a different profit point and requires a specific number of parts. These are the number of parts that we have in inventory, so the number of parts used in production must be less than these values. Since we are already on the Data tab, we simply need to click Solver to open the Solver Parameters dialog. Here we see that our objective to be maximized is in cell G16, our variable cells or changing cells are in cells C6 through E6, and we have two constraints. The first is that the number of parts used in production must be less than the available inventory, and two, that we are not able to produce a negative number of parts. Since our model is linear, we've selected the Simplex LP engine, and then to solve, we simply click Solve. The Solver Results dialog appears. With the result, Solver found a solution. All constraints and optimality conditions are satisfied. And here we can produce three reports, answer, sensitivity, or limits. Now if we take a look at the spreadsheet, we see that we are to produce 200 TVs, 200 stereos, and zero speakers. And this gives us a maximum profit of $25,000. Now let's click Restore Original Values and click OK, and now solve the same model again using Analytics Solver Platform. Click Analytics Solver Platform on the ribbon, then click the Model icon to open the Solver Task pane. On the Model tab, we see our objective to be maximized, our variables, and our constraints. If you wanted to change anything, you can simply select an entry and make any needed changes here at the bottom. Click the Engine tab to view our list of available engines, or just simply select Automatically Select Engine. If this checkbox is selected, Solver will diagnose your model as linear, quadratic, nonlinear, or non-smooth, and will choose the best engine from your list of available engines to solve the model. Click the Output tab, and then click the green arrow to run an optimization. Our Output tab contains our result, Solver found a solution, and the total solve time. If you aren't sure what the Solver result means, you can click the hyperlink to open the Solver help text. If we take a look at our spreadsheet, we see the Analytics Solver platform has found the same solution. We are to produce 200 TVs and stereos, zero speakers, which give us a maximum profit of $25,000. To create a report, click Reports, Optimization, and select the desired report. As I've shown, it's easy to solve an existing standard Excel solver model with one of our premium solver products. You just open and click the Solve button. Please see the video Building Your First Optimization Model in Excel with Solver for information on how to build a model from scratch when using one of our premium solver products. As always, please visit our website at www.solver.com if you have any questions or comments.